It's the show of the week. Hello and welcome back to Show of the Week, the weekly segment where we talk musical theater and where I wear flannel. Have you seen The Wiz live yet? Did you miss it? You should go online. NBC has put the whole thing up and trust me, it's worth watching. NBC's current trend of live revivals is about as old as this channel, so I've been keeping up with them for a couple years now, and of the three that have happened, The Sound of Music, Peter Pan, and The Wiz, The Wiz outshines the other two by miles and miles and miles. And so, of course, the question is, why? What made The Wiz so great? But before we talk about that, it's important to understand the reasoning behind NBC doing these live shows. You're watching me on the internet, so you already know this, but television is, for better or for worse, a dying art form. There's not a lot you can watch on TV that you can't watch through some other medium right now. And we're still struggling with the language around all of this. I mean, Netflix develops original TV shows that may never actually be put on an actual TV. Is it a TV show if you watch it on your phone? Semantics aside, this trend of live television musicals comes from this TV as a dying art form. Watching a musical live is something, right now at least, that really you can only do on television. And it's important to keep that in mind. At their core, each of these live productions are not specifically about staying true to the art form or creating a wonderful piece of theater. They're about ratings and primetime television and, you know, getting people to tune in. Oh man, was the whiz worth tuning into for a lot of reasons. There were great performances. They did a wonderful job of casting people who can sing. The fantastic and breakout performance of Shanice Williams goes without saying. Uzo Aduba was fantastic. A lot of the stunt casting was okay, which is better than it's been in some of the past musicals. But I think what made The Wiz really shine is a very specific production choice. If you watch all of the staging they used in The Wiz, you'll notice that the whole thing was, well, it was staged. It was like it was on a proscenium style stage. Compare that to The Sound of Music in Peter Pan where they had different elaborate sets that were sometimes 360 degrees in various cases and you had cast members running back and forth between all of these things. When you take all of that out of the equation and you do the musical to an extent as it's intended on a stage with scene shifts in one place, you remove a lot of the stress associated with doing something live. I mean, that's why they do it like that on Broadway. It's easier. You keep the people in one place and then all you have to worry about is the acting and the performance. And really, I do believe this, the unsung hero of The Wiz Live was that very real choice to simplify the staging, to put it all in one place. You just don't worry about things when something's staged like that. And Harvey Firestein's book was fantastic, and the costumes were beautiful, and it was just great. If you haven't watched The Wiz Live, go watch The Wiz Live. If you haven't watched the original Wiz movie, you should watch that too. It's a great piece of American cinema. It's, it's important to put in your lexicon of things that you know. That's your message for Mr. Mash. This has been Show of the Week. I will see you next week. Take care. Do you ever have a thought that you're like, I just want to put this out there so that if other people get excited about this thought, maybe they'll do something related about it? Doing musicals on television live is a great thing, and it's because television thinks they're the only people that can do it. We live in a world with wonderful internet streaming options nowadays and wonderful kind of homebrew setup stuff. Wouldn't it be fun to have more live streamed pieces of theater, like that was the point, like the whole thing was live streamed and that was how you experienced it. It'd be cool. I want that. That was my thought, see, now I put it out there and now it's out in the world and, and you know, and, and it's great. Now it'll just float and you know, who knows where thoughts go when they float. The Wiz does, Queen Latifah knows. I'm sure about that. <laughs>